Welcome to I Educate. I am here to educate. We will be discussing today is all about the nature of politics. Let us find out the competencies. The first is articulate the definitions of politics. And the second is differentiate the various views on politics. Politics Politics is commonly associated with the government. When talking about politics, people immediately think of government officials, politicians, and elections. For example, the Malacanang Palace symbolizes the Philippine government. People also interpret the palace as a symbol of politics as it houses the country's highest political official. Politics and government are interrelated concepts. They both directly and indirectly affect society. They influence our lives and how we act or live within a society. Aside from the concept of government, politics and governance are also two different ideas. In this lesson, we will focus our attention on identifying politics as a concept and we will explore how politics affects our society and us as individuals. Lastly, we will discuss the various views on politics and provide our interpretation of politics and dynamics in real life. Definition of Politics Politics was derived from the Greek word polis, which means a city-state. In its Greek origin, the city was the state, and all of the subjects, the people, dealt with the city-states and its interests, issues, conflicts, and problems were the politics. Politics in a broader sense is the management of the affairs of the state. It entails the exercises of power and authority, making political decisions and allocation of limited resources. According to Robert Dahl, a political theorist, politics is the existence of rules and authority within a state. Thus, it studies the power relationship among the people in a given society, as well as the relationships among states and the international community. In addition, Andrew Haywood, a renowned author on the subject of politics, defined politics as the activity through which people make, preserve, and amend the general rules under which they live. Politics also deals with the issues of conflict and cooperation. This is because people in a society have different interests and opinions and they do not always agree on how people should act and live within their society. Thus, there is always conflict. Despite the existence of conflict, people also understand that they should work together in order to achieve the common good of society. Hence, cooperation is necessary for a society to work. Politics is a powerful tool in ensuring that there is dynamics, or what we say, continuous discussions, conflicts of interest, disagreement, and standard processes in finding solutions. And order, or what we say, setting of rules and policies, conciliation of arguments, and resolution of conflicts in our society. However, when we talk about politics, we also often encounter issues about the validity of political power's existence. There are three basic issues in politics, legitimacy, sovereignty, and authority. Legitimacy Legitimacy is the people's attitude towards who they think is the rightful ruler to govern over them. This idea compels people to believe and follow the order of the ruler. For example, the class president is the rightful ruler of the class because he or she was elected by the majority of the class. With this, the class president has the legitimacy to lead and govern the class. Since the power of the class president to lead and govern the class is legitimate, the class will generally listen and follow. Sovereignty 
Sovereignty is the right of a government to exist and rule over a certain territory and its subjects. This is defined by Montevideo Convention of 1933, wherein a sovereign nation recognized the rights of other sovereign nations to rule over their respective nations. The Philippines is recognized as a sovereign nation. Thus, its government has the right to rule over its subjects, make important decisions for the best interests of its people, and allocate its resources for the common good. This also means that no other country can and should meddle with and influence the Philippine government. Authority Authority is the power of leader to rule and exact divisions from the people. It is an acknowledged right to govern the people who in turn have the duty to abide and follow their leader. To understand authority better, let us look at the system of the Philippine Judiciary. The Philippine Judiciary has the authority to address concerns on the application and interpretation of laws being implemented in the country. Thus, it has the authority to decide on legal matters concerning the country or its individual citizens. When courts make decisions that are final and executory, the parties concerned have the corresponding duty to comply with them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.